Well, I love being with Dr. Ben Lin because he is on fire for Jesus. He loves the Hebrew feast. He is a God-fearing, God-honoring man. He flows in signs, miracles, and wonders. In fact, his ministry was called Open Heavens. And so he is doing new things for God. This year, the Lord has taken him out of the four walls, not that he really was ever contained within them, and putting him in the field. And it is like he has a torch like they have uh, at the Olympic Games, and he is running with that torch, and he is setting every place that his foot touches on fire with the power, the anointing, and the presence of God. Dr. Ben, thank you for being here. Dr. Jeff, thanks for having <laughs> me again. God bless you. Wow. Yes. So much has changed. So much. Since the last time you were here, which wasn't that long ago, mm -hmm. you have an extra 10 nations that you've been to or more. Yes. It's over 60 now, right? Yeah, it's exactly 60. Wow. Yep. But there will be more this year, absolutely. But who can say that? That is, that is God saying, I trust you, my son. You know, wow. You know, it is such an honor and privilege to be a minister of the gospel, especially yeah. in these days where the world desperately needs it. It's true. As we were saying earlier, does a false gospel being preached? Yeah. Lots of shaking, lots of exposure. Uh, but this is God's cleaning house. Yeah. So we need the true word of the Lord, the true anointing to reside in. It's an honor and privilege uh, to be alive in these times. It is. Yeah. I also just want to do um, a shout out for people that, okay, let's say they're like, well, I can't go to LA to the church he oversees, and okay, I, I can't go to those nations, but you are a king in social media. You, you. You, you take that platform, you have consecrated it for the Lord, and you concentrate, you do. Sometimes you're on daily, it just depends if the Holy Spirit told you, but you always do a monthly prophetic word, it is so on time. You teach the feast. You teach the month. You teach it. When God tells you, talk about it, you talk about it. And so people can find you on social media too. You know, uh, the social media, Media Mountain, needs to be captured for yes. the glory of God. Yes. And uh, today in this day and age, uh, as there's more shutdowns, lockdowns, as there's just more controversy taking place, we need more prophetic voices yes. to be released on the earth uh, to reach that one. That's right. Who knows? Uh, you know, somebody could be, you know, in, in the bathroom wanting to commit suicide. That's somebody right. uh, can be driving down the street, uh, you know, maybe they're drunk on alcohol. But, you know, the power of the gospel needs to be preached in the airwaves. That's right. And uh, we're seeing a return of the power of the glory of God being demonstrated, not just, uh, you know, explained with communication, but with genuine demonstration. And uh, more and more, uh, you know, so many hungry people are going to hear this. And uh, God's using media. God's using social media. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we could talk about so much because we could talk about Purim. We could talk about Passover. We could talk about Pentecost. We could talk about Adar, double Adar. We could, but I think what God or what I feel like would be so informational, educational, and prophetic for those that are watching Dr. Ben has to do with, okay, we are in this year of 2024 at the time of this taping. Uh, there's Super Bowl prophecies. You know, there's leap year prophecies. This is an election year, not just in the States, but how many countries? 64 countries, plus the EU, plus the European Union. Just this year? Just this year, 2024. They call it the year of the election. Wow. So this is a swing state or a swing uh, year where half of the world's population is voting. Wow. They are taking an election, a selection, and so there are lots being casted in the spirit realm uh, because it's time for people to vote, it's time for people to pray, yes. to take a stand, a line's being drawn in the sand, and things are being casted for the side of the Lord Jesus. Yes. So it's a very important year. So how, tell, let's talk about the presidential election. Let's talk about the leap year. Let's talk about the Super Bowl. Well, you know, this is a leap year. 2024, of course, the Hebrew year 5784. This is a leap year. And whenever it's a leap year, it means that one more day is added on. Yeah. But we understand in the Hebrew calendar, whenever it's the Hebrew leap year, there is a double Adar. So in the month of March to April, uh, that extra month is added on. And so that's the time of Purim. Yeah. So that is a double Purim, a yes. double returning yes. of the false words. Yes, It's a double decree, a double declaration. Yeah. We understand that during uh, Purim, Esther arose, Mordecai was honored, 
and the Haman Hamas spirit was avenge revenge and there was recompense payback. That's right. So that is the anointing that's manifested and available for us in this leap year time. Yeah. It is a double Purim anointing. Why did God highlight Adar, Adar 2, Purim as the month, the time frame for the leap year anointing to be manifested? Why is that? Because God wants to release double recompense. Yes. And so whenever it is a leap year, uh, the Hebrews, of course, call it Adar Shani or Adar Bet. Yes. And Shani in the Hebrew means second, yeah. right? Or the God of second chances. Yeah. So if you feel like you've missed it or you've yes. messed up, God's the God of second, third, fourth, fifth, unlimited chances. His grace is sufficient, is abundant. Yeah. Yeah. He will supply everything that you need in the Holy Ghost. So as it was in the last leap year, which was 2020, Right. He is redeeming the times. Amen. And there is a second chance anointing that's returning to us in the body of Christ. As well, I want to talk about quickly Adar Bet. Yes. Bet means, of course, house. house. And uh, here we are in this home, in this living room. Come on. And uh, Adar <laughs> Bet means the house of the Lord. Yes. The Hebrews say that whenever a year is the leap year, it means that it is a year of impregnation. Woo. Now, I don't know if you've been pregnant. I haven't. I'm, I'm a man, of course. <laughs> uh, I'm a biological male, but I am a birthing person in the spirit. That's right. So every single one of us, we are impregnated with the destinies of yes. God. So the Hebrews call the leap year a year of impregnation. However, it gets better. It's not just giving birth to one child. It's double. Now, I want to say double, friends. Double. Because whenever God releases a double, double anointing, it means that you're pregnant with twins. Yes. So this is a year of double recompense, Hallelujah. of double turnaround. Yes. This is the year, and of course, 24 is double of 12, yeah. which we'll get into in a little bit. But this is the year of Adar Shani, Adar Bet, where God is releasing second chances, and as well, he's releasing twins, a double portion in the house of God. That is the anointing that's mm. in this year. Yes. Now, very quickly, the resemblance, my friends, of 2020 and 2024 this year. 2020 was also a leap year. This is also a leap year. Well, guess what? Who's running for president uh, of the United <laughs> States? Uh, we have Joe Biden and we have Donald J. Trump. Do now, offer? it's the same scenario, Dr. Jen, <laughs> from 2020 to 2024. Yeah. And uh, of course, many people are saying, are these the best candidates that we could come up with? Well, uh, guess what? God has chosen rightly Yes. on what's going to come forth on the national platform, in the national platform. Uh, but as well, you see the same signs yeah. of uh, the NFL Super Bowl. Now, I'm not a big uh, NFL fan, but I do believe God speaks through signs and symbols. Yes. And whenever there's repetition, especially in the Bible, yeah. because God's a God of repetition, whenever there's repetition, it means he wants us to get it. He's trying to get our attention. There you go. Amen. And so... 2020, Dr. Jen, who went to the Super Bowl? The California, San Francisco 49ers mm -hmm. and the Kansas City Chiefs. Chiefs. Now, I'm a California boy, boy in the race. <laughs> but you know what? As it was in 2020, so it is now again at 2024. Yeah. Yeah. It is a mirroring effect. Yes. The exact resemblance. Because God is saying, I'm giving you another chance, a second chance yeah. to give birth to redemption, double honor for your shame. What happened in 2020 or did not happen, it will happen again, even better, in the name of Jesus this year. Hallelujah. So this is that year Woo. of double recompense, double payback. My friends, it's time for you to give birth to twins. You know, Adar is strength, so we need double strength. How do we get yes. strength? Through joy. We need double joy for whatever's coming ahead and the warfare and and and, and what we're going to face in this a worldwide election year, we need joy. We need strength. Absolutely. And I believe we're going to see the goodness of God in the land of the living. And, you know, he is going to give us do-over because, Dr. Ben, the church uh, did fail in 2024. We did not step up. We did not do our job. We hovered and we hid. And, and we let the strip clubs be open. We let the weed stores yeah. be open. We let the bars be open. Mm -hmm. And we cowered. And God loves us so much that he's saying, I'm going to give you a do-over. But this time, you're going to rise up 
and signs, miracles, and wonders are gonna be your portion and you're gonna walk in that Esther boldness that if I perish, I perish. Abada say, abada say. It doesn't matter, my life doesn't matter. Whatever I have to do, whatever price I have to pay, I'm gonna do it this year. This is that year, Dr. Yeah. Jen, and I believe Many people are going to give birth to destiny. Yes. Where things were delayed or sabotaged. Yes. Where businesses, ministries were destroyed. This is that year yes. where you're truly stepping into the double portion realm and anointing. Yeah. You know, for me personally, as you shared earlier, Dr. Jen, I just stepped down from 14 years of being a senior pastor. Yeah. Even though I'm not a senior citizen, <laughs> I've been a senior pastor for 14 years over my church in LA, Los Angeles. Yeah. And now I feel like it's a reset for me personally. Yeah. I actually feel like I'm in a sabbatical year. I'm having a lot of fun. That's good. But as I'm in its reset, I know it's aligned in the heavens yes. with what he's doing globally on the That's earth. Right. It's not a coincidence just for me. Yeah. But let this be a sign, my friends, because God is releasing you into the fullness of your destiny. God is giving doors that are closed and opening new doors in your life. God is giving you the green light. He's giving mm -hmm. you the permission to re release that anointing for you to run like the horses. This is that year yeah. because it's the do over year. Yeah. It's the year of turnaround. It's the leap year. And truly you will leap forward and leap over your enemies in Jesus' name. Woo! And this is even the month of Naphtali, which he was a leaper. He sprung forth and we want to spring forth. You know, Dr. Ben, as you were speaking, the church that you uh, so faithfully pastored for 14 years uh, was um, called Open Heavens. And you rose in and, and you, your book, the New Breed, and we've f featured that book before. In fact, I encourage you, go get it on Amazon. It's called The New Breed, or you can go to benlimglobal.com, order it through there. It is an awesome book, especially if you have people in your life you're praying for that are 40 and under. Uh, it is a powerful book. And Dr. Ben, you faithfully rose up reformers and revivalists. And it's like God had you hidden. And now, and you are faithful in the little and he's made you ruler over much. And now he is sending you forth. You are leaping forth into other countries and other continents. And you are, you're taking the move of God. And that's what he wants to do because I see this massive acceleration um, in yes. your life. Thank you. And, and God's no respecter of persons. You... Uh, what God's done for you can be done for others if they pay the price, if they stay in his presence. And I'll tell you something else I love about you, um, is you are a trainer of champions. I, you know, I see, I've seen you in LA and every time I see you, you've got a company of young prophets around you, young men, young women, and not just age young, but hungry, mm. hungry warriors. Yes. And you disciple and you teach and you grab, say, come on, you're hungry. I'm taking you with me. I'm training. And that is what Jesus did. He, he was a discipler and he would, he would impart and, and then he would train them and he would stand with them and say, okay, now you do it. And I see you doing that. And that is so important. It's so important. Absolutely. Well, God's heart is always multiplication. Yeah. And I think Dr. Jen, uh, it's always been about the celebrity preacher, the celebrity pastor, uh, the one man, one woman show on the stage. But it's never been a stage. It's always been an altar. Yes. It's always been the holy pulpit. Yes. And I believe God is dismantling a lot of the old wineskins. And it's very scary for us to see it in full motion. But there is a new wineskin that's being released. And do you know what it is? It's going back to the future. Mm. It's going back to the acts yes. of the Apostles Amen. Church. Uh, I was just with Dr. Lance Wolnow uh, a few weeks ago. And he was saying we are in the era where it's going from mega church to micro church. Oof. And I believe more and more, it's gonna be uh, churches in the house, yes. churches in the public places, mm -hmm. the ecclesia. Yes. No longer is it gonna be the church A, club, clicky gathering, mm -hmm. but it's going to be about the nucleus uh, uh, family of God. Yes. It's gonna be about the oikos as uh, it is in the Greek, yes. the family unit. And it's always been about the family unit. So I believe this year and more so, we are going back to first love, yes. going back to the original design, yes. being like the first fruit, which is Jesus Christ, yes. or the first church, the first founding fathers of the apostolic church. Okay. And so there's a returning taking place because God has not been pleased. We have not been duplicating, multi multiplying. That's right. We've been seeker friendly churches, just trying to grow numbers and influence and uh, statistics and money. 
Yeah. Uh, but God is shaking things. Come on. And there's a true spirit of revival and awakening that's coming to America and to the nations of the earth. So this year, Dr. Jen, 2024. 24 stands for the 24 elders. Yes. Around the throne of God. Yes. So as we talked about the year of the election, 2024 is the year of the election. But you see, my friends, this is the year where kingdoms are in the sea of glass. Kingdoms are being judged. Kingdoms, nations are uh, coming before God and we're the king's elders of the 24, where we are casting and laying down our crowns. Yes. So we are seeing shifts. Yes. We're seeing things come up and down. The proud will be humbled. The humble will be lifted up, exalted yes. by the mighty hand of God. And we're also seeing these kings and kingdoms being shifted. So get ready for a massive changing of the guard. Yes. It's going to shock the world, my friends. What God is doing, he's amplifying the going home of men and women of God, generals. Yeah. And certain people are falling, being exposed. There's a cleaning of the house, but also God's raising up new forerunners. That's right. New men, women of God, voices. God's doing a new thing. Yes. And I believe this year we're going to see a full circle return. I want to say one more thing, uh, Dr. Jen. 24 hours in a day. Yeah. <laughs> this is a very significant thing. Yeah. Um, and 24 is double kingdom apostolic. Yeah. So God is multiplying the apostolic church. Yes. Double. Some would say double. It's a double, leap double. year. Yes. Which means double twins, double anointing. Yay. But uh, there is a full circle moment this year. Yes. As the hands of a clock go around the clock twice, there's 12 hours and 12 hours, 24 hours in one day. Full circle. Friends, I want you to move your hand like this mm. as a prophetic act and a mm. prophetic motion. As the man of God said earlier, there is a returning back to first love. Yes. There's a full circle that has taken place yes. where God is restoring you, returning you. Prodigals are coming home. There is a second chance opportunity coming back to you for your business, for your family, for your finances, for your health. Hallelujah. Things are coming to a full circle. And I even hear God saying a full closure mm -hmm. of the old things, mm -hmm. a full finish of the old things. There is a full circle that's coming upon your life and God is about to do a new thing. This is that 2024 leap year anointing. But you know, at the very beginning of the year, the Lord told me that the lukewarm church will not survive in 2024. And, and listen, there is no room for lukewarm in yeah. what God's doing. He needs us on fire. Revelation says that, you know, I wish you not be either hot or cold. If you're mm. luke, either be hot or cold. If you're lukewarm, I'm going to spit you out. And we, we cannot be in that category of being spit out. We've got to say, make, put, set my heart on fire again, God. Yeah. Let me love what you love. Let me hate what you hate. Let me stand with Israel. Let me tithe. Let me do what, whatever is holy to God. Is where, that's where we need to be, wherever his presence is. Yes. And we're in, the, we're in the very beginning of this year. There's time. There Absolutely. is time. You know, even Teshuvah uh, is turning and returning and, 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 and purifying ourselves and consecrating ourselves and I love Dr. Ben, and, and I'm going to let you minister after this, but as I watch you on social media and partner with your ministry, I Thank see you. you going to these home churches in different countries, and I see you. You never make a decision based on the amount of people that are there. You go wherever Abba tells you to go, and you pour out His Spirit. And I think that is what that is such a shift, as you talked about, that we have to just go. Jesus left the 99. He went to the 1. And God is going to be in the one this year. Mm. Absolutely. Well, God is everywhere. <laughs> but I think you will feel the manifest presence of God where his heart is. Yeah. I want to share a quick story, Dr. Jen. I was doing a massive uh, crusade in Pakistan years ago. Yeah. And uh, we had miracle signs and wonders. People were coming out of wheelchairs. And this is a fulfillment of my destiny. Yes. We're on a TV station, the largest TV station network in Pakistan, preaching at the largest church, 40 plus thousand people. And this is what I'm made for. Uh, this is what I'm, I've been called for. Yeah. But after all of the fast pacing ministry movement, four or five days, crusades, TV stations, et cetera, et cetera, yeah. we go to an orphanage. Mm. And we go to an orphanage and there's a young little boy. He was born mute. Yeah. 
And the heart of the Father gripped me. And the heart of God gripped me so strong that I was moved with compassion like Jesus Yeshua was. Yes. And I began to pray for this boy and he began to speak for the first time in his life. Thank you, Lord. Praise in that moment, you, Jesus. I realized the revelation of God's love. Yes. I would rather have this moment yeah. than all of that. That's right. The crowds, the lights, the platforms, right. the miracles, all that is part of the gospel. It's my destiny, but I would trade all of that yeah. in for this. Friends, God is asking you, yes. will you give everything yes. for one Lord, moment, Lord, one touch, Lord. one uh, experience with the Holy Ghost? Lord. I believe wherever you are, my friends, God is reaching out to you. God is ministering to you. The Spirit of God is here. There is no heart that is hardened or too cold to be reached with the love of the Heavenly Father. He is reaching out to you. This year, 2024, doesn't matter what you've gone through. It doesn't matter if you failed, if you sinned, though a righteous man falls seven times, still he gets back up again. God is calling you home. Come home with the Father. Come home with Jen. This year, this moment, Make that Thank decision. You, I want you to lift up your hands Lord, and repeat this prayer and say, Father, Lord, come into my life. I receive you, Holy Spirit. I receive you, Holy I receive Spirit. you Jesus, I receive as the Lord Jesus. and Savior of my life. I turn away from anything that's not of you, and I surrender my all to you. And I surrender in my Jesus' all to you. mighty name. Welcome to the family of God, and welcome to the best year of your life. I surrender all. How many of us have come, went down to the altar hearing, I surrender all? Listen, if you've surrendered all today, we want to hear about it. Write us, tell us. We want to make sure we help you get plugged in to a church, into a community, in a home group, wh wherever you can be fed and discipled, because this is a defining moment and a pivotal year for you. And thank you for watching today. I want you to support. Dr. Ben Lim, I want you to follow him. I want you to get his books. I want you to pray for him. He is taking the world by storm and he is a end time vessel for Jesus. So he'll be back. We're gonna have him as many times as he'll come. And thank you, God loves you. He's for you, he's with you. And I believe that this is gonna be your double portion here. Thank you for watching. I'm Jen Mallon, come home.